Payload Operations Integration Center. This is a Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is uh, Payload Ops Center Charlie Bolden for a voice check. How do you read? Uh, we have you loud and clear, and the commander and the captain would like to welcome the general on board. <laughs> you guys are too much. How are you both doing? Uh, we're doing great. We're having a lot of fun up here. Well, you look like it, and um, on behalf of everybody down here, especially those of us that don't get to talk to you daily, I uh, want to let you know how very proud we are of you and uh, how much we've enjoyed watching you work. Uh, Reed, I'm, I am actually shocked that you're able to get Butch to do anything. Uh, he's usually hard-headed. <laughs> are you kidding me, sir? I love having this guy up here. It's great to have another uh, fellow naval aviator with me. Well, I, I, you guys are doing well. You're making all of us that wear wings of gold proud. Uh, and Reed, I have a message for you. The crab cakes are on the way. They were delayed. You know, they, they should get there on time, still regular time. But we had a, just a small sailboat that, uh, that kept us from launching last night. <laughs> do, do I get to have some of those, General? Is that OK? Uh, uh, you can have some. I, you know, I'm not sure whether, whether, whether Reed will let you eat some, but, uh, but we hope that you will share them with the rest of the crew, to be quite honest. Oh, no doubt about that, sir. I'm not going to keep uh, Maryland crab cakes all to myself. Those are going to be for all six of us. Fantastic. And I, I, I know our time is limited, but I, I have to ask you one philosophical question. And it's, it's just sort of, um, you know, being up there and having an opportunity to, to look at the planet the way that, that no one else can un, unless they're in your, your place, what do you think is going to be the most lasting, lasting thing uh, that you're going to bring home with you? Oh, the most lasting thing that I will bring home with me, I think it's something that I've already sent down, and it's thousands of pictures of our amazing planet. And yesterday we came up over the Bahamas in Florida, and the sun angle was just perfect, and it was one of those photos where it's just too good to be true. And the beauty of our planet, I think that's the number one thing that I'll bring home with me. It's just, it's, you know how it is. It's indescribable. Yeah. How about you, Butch? Yeah, I feel the same way, General. The one thing, the shuttle mission we were on, and you flew four of them, uh, you know how fast-paced it was, and you got a glimpse here, you got a glimpse there. And on the long-duration mission, there are occasions where you have the opportunity with more than just a glimpse here and a glimpse there, and just to take it in and soak it in and just be mesmerized by it all. And I think that's what I'll take away, those long stints where I see from sunrise to sunset and all the beauty in between. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb because uh, you guys don't send me any messages like everybody else down here on Earth does and give me ideas. But uh, we're getting ready to get the leadership team together down here the first part of December, and they're going to tell me how to run the agency. Um, I'll give each of you an opportunity to tell me one thing that you would like for me to do in the, in, you know, in the next couple of years uh, that's going to make life a lot better for folk that are up there where you are right now. Well, sir, uh, for me personally, me I think we're already headed in the right it. direction. And for, <laughs> and for me, it's getting a, uh, a U.S. flag carrier to bring some folks up to the space station. I think that's number one. And uh, I think we're heading in that direction. Yeah, I too think we're heading in the direction. You know, right now we're launching three to four U.S. astronauts a year. And to get back to where we can bring more people up to have the experience, to share in the science, to share in the endeavors that our great nation's undertaking right now, uh, that, I think, uh, as we continue to press down that path, that's what I'd like to see. Well, great. And we're really trying to work hard to, to get there for you so that, uh, so that you're not disappointed. And I know, um, unless you're strange, uh, both of you are probably going to want to fly again. So, uh, you know, if we've got some U.S. carriers, then, then you may stand a chance of, of actually fulfilling that. Uh, but, but we're looking forward to having you back in a couple of weeks, Reed and, and Butch. Know you're going to continue to carry on. Um, you know, give my absolute best to the rest of your crew members up there. Uh, we're excited about, you know, getting as many of them involved and, and on the screen for kids down here. You're getting ready to have two female crew members. Uh, you're going to miss it, Reed, but, but, but you'll, you'll actually be there. And um, I think that's going to be an incredible boost to young ladies around the world. 
uh, having two young ladies, uh, neither of whom, unfortunately, will be un American this time, but, but it's still nonetheless critically important. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, General. And uh, we've been working with Elena here for, for a little over a month, and she hit the ground running a lot faster than I did when I got up here, let me tell you. And uh, she's a phenomenal crewmate, so we are happy to have her up here. Well, great. I, and I, I am looking forward to having you back so we can talk a little bit, because uh, hopefully you've got some more ideas about things that we can do. Um, you know, we can work better, uh, quicker. We can figure out better ways to, better ways to work with our international partners uh, so that we get more, um, more efficiency out of all of you on the crew there. Uh, share the work a little bit more and uh, get everybody involved so that you all don't have to, to carry much, most of the burden. Yeah, uh, we've, we've got no complaints, but certainly as we get more integrated together, doing things together, that'll certainly be better in the long run. And General, I want to take the opportunity just to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to share some time with us and, and the people there in Huntsville. It means a lot. Thank you. No, thank you very much for allowing me to do this. You know, you come in and, and interrupt people in their, in their cycle and the work that they're doing. So it, it's real special for me to be able to come in uh, and watch you all. You, you make me envious. Uh, because you're obviously happy and enjoying what you're doing, and I know you're working your butts off. Uh, so it's, it's good to see people who, who actually don't realize they're working because they're having so much fun. And uh, so best of luck to you, and thanks so very much for doing everything you do. Hey, General, and to all the folks down there in Huntsville, it's a, it's a pleasure working with you. This morning we had people on the radio from Huntsville all the way over to Ames in California doing some really fantastic research up here for NASA and CASIS, and uh, we're just proud to be a part of this. Uh, every day is a new adventure up here, and the diversity that we get to, to play around with is just, it's absolutely amazing. So it's our honor. It's great to talk to you, and a huge hello to all the folks down in Huntsville. Well, thanks very much. And uh, Reed, when you come back, uh, you're going to find that, that, that you're a rock star. It seems like uh, every time we get a crew member back, they've, they've, they've moved the scale up on, on use of social media. So you're the, you're the latest social media rock star. So, so get ready when you come back. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to let you guys go uh, maybe a little bit early because uh, I, I know how much work you have to do. And, and uh, my folk down here are getting nervous because they're thinking I'm trying to think out of a luncheon speaking engagement. And I'm really not. Uh, but I would much rather spend the rest of the day talking to you all. But I know you got work to do. So uh, again, take care. Uh, look forward to seeing you all back here when you get back. And have, continue to have a good time. All right, General. Take care. <laughs> See ya. Thank you. And Houston, I, I think we're done here, so you can have them back. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event.